Hi there, and thank you so much for taking the time to actually check out this video. Um, this video is all about the World Wildlife Fund coin. Um, I'm going to talk about, um, obviously, uh, how many was minted, um, why it came about, and obviously, just you know, in case you're interested in obviously knowing more. Now, this coin was one that really grabbed my eye when I actually first started collecting coins uh, probably five or six years ago. My actual daughter's ex-boyfriend, he got me um, interested in coins and he started telling me all about these 50p pieces and about how they were going up in value and he kind of sparked an interest and really since that day um, it's something that I've always been trying to do. Now, um, one coin in particular, obviously the Kew Gardens, when, you know, when they obviously told me about the Kew Gardens, that was the one that everybody was after. But of all the coins in... Of all the coins I've collected in the 50p series, the one coin that I think um, is the best, or the, or the one that I prefer the most anyway, was always the World Wildlife Fund coin. Obviously, obviously, what it commemorates for 50 years of um, the World Wildlife Fund and obviously, fund and obviously what it's achieved uh, in conservation. But yeah, it's, it's, to me, the actual design, if I just show you it now, the actual design of the coin... I just think it's it's outstanding, and I think this is a coin to watch. I today, um, I actually purchased two of these today. It's one that I think um, I just like having them. It's one, that, and it's one that I think is going to really, really increase in value. Um, as you can see, it's got all different animals, little little small animals actually on the front of it, and obviously, obviously on the reverse, it's got the. It's got the Queen, um, Queen Elizabeth, and um, they actually minted 3.4 million of these. So it is a high minted coin, but I actually think that this is going to go up, and this is my reason. This is going to be a coin that any young, any young kid, anybody who starts collecting coins, they're obviously going to start getting interested in the 50p coins. This, even though it was highly minted, I think because of its design, and, be and more importantly, because of what it stands for, yeah, animal conservation, I think this is going to be a coin that all young um, um, aspiring coin collectors, if you like, are going to want. And I think this is a coin that you should really be on the lookout for. And as well, I've been doing, um, I haven't done loads of them, but I have been doing like going to the bank, getting some bags of coins, £50, £100, going through them. You don't seem to be finding these. Now, when I first started doing it, probably three or four years ago, I was finding these and I was getting these in my change, right? I was, you know, you'd go somewhere you'd buy something and occasionally you would get one of these in your change but not recently not recently these coins this one in particular obviously the Q Gardens goes about saying you know you're, you're going to be lucky to find one of them in your change at the moment but this one I have been struggling to find yeah so that can only mean it can only mean one thing people are collecting them and the reason people are collecting these, I'm telling you, is because of the link to animals and it's the link to com com, um, conservation. It's what the coin represents. And obviously also, it is a really, really nice coin. So, you know, when you talk to some people, you know, I've got other friends that collect coins and that, and they say, oh yeah, but it's got a high mintage. I don't always think you can go by that. If something's popular, it's like a car. If they made so many of a car, and that cop and that car was popular and it was reasonably priced, and everybody wanted to save it, so nobody wants to get rid of it. That's what's going to make that coin go up in value. So there could be five. You know, in my opinion, perhaps I don't know, but it's only my opinion. There could have been ten million of of these minted. If coin collectors all over the world start wanting this coin because it ain't just people in the uk it's people all over the world who are interested in obviously british issues and obviously what we obviously the coins that our royal mint make then who's to say what could actually happen to the rarity of this coin 
And I'm telling you, I'm, I've been watching eBay. I actually bought two of these today. I paid, um, I can't remember exactly. I think one was like, we including postage was about 380. The other one was about £3.30. I bought two the other day. There was a girl listing two of them. I actually got for, I think, about £5.40. Because obviously the, it was like, it was two items. And, you know, I'm just buying a few of these every now and then. Because I honestly believe that in 20, 30 years from now, these could be worth 20, 30 pound each. And obviously if they are, that would be a wise investment. Yeah. Again, I'm not, you know, I don't, I'm a, you know, I'm not a professional coin collector or anything like that. I'm just somebody who got involved in it like quite a long, quite a while ago. And my daughter's ex-boyfriend, he was, he collects everything. He, he had, he had, um, he was collecting um, um, Star Wars figures. He had me buying James Bond cars. And, you know, I've got like little collections of all different things. And, you know, when I was a kid, Star Wars was, was obviously big. And he started showing me his Star Wars collection. And the next thing I know, I've got, you know, I've got my own one. And he obviously introduced me to the coins and, and the two pound coins. And if you've seen any of my other videos now, you'll know I've started stacking silver as well. I've got, you know, I buy old, um, obviously they're, they, them ones work out about 28, 30 pound each at the moment. I think silver spot price a day was about 18 pound 50, obviously for an ounce of silver. And um, <clears throat> it's something that I'm trying to do for my kids. If you see me other videos, you'll know that um, I ain't got loads of money. I've got a nice house. I haven't got loads of money though, but I'm trying to do something for my children, something which I think in time might pay off. And, who knows? You know, I can remember just quickly. Um, I start getting excited when I start thinking about Kew Gardens. But if you see my other videos, you'll know that I got a Kew Gardens about five years ago, and um, that was worth at the time about fifty pound. Well, I put one on watch the other day on e on eBay, and one went for hundred and twenty four. Two weeks later, one's just gone for hundred and forty six pound. So who's to say what's going to happen to these? Yeah? If I've got 100, 100 200 of these in like two or three years' time, because I, will, I am going to keep buying them. You know, I don't mind paying three, four pounds for them. Because I actually think that in 10, 15 years' time, these could be worth 25, 30 pounds each. It's only my opinion. Yeah, what do I know? But what this, this video is getting is, I don't think you should be, you know, when you, I've watched so many other um, um uh, coin videos on on YouTube. They talk about they always want about the mintage, you know, how many were minted, and I understand that you know, uh, Qu uh, Kew Gardens, you know, two hundred and ten thousand um, like minted. So obviously uh, that that coin it does make that coin in more demand. But it, is it just the mintage that makes a coin worth money, or is it it's um, its design and what it represents and I actually think that um, um, you know this coin you know the, the, the 2011 WWF World Wildlife Fund coin I actually think this could be a really good a really wise investment yeah obviously don't buy loads of them but me I'm gonna sit there I did it the other night I sit there and bought two I bought two a day. I think I paid, like I say, I paid about seven pound from eight pound from from like combined the two of them, and you know I must have I must have about I must have about twenty of these already. Do you know what I mean? I don't even know how many I've got, but I know I've got quite a lot, and I actually think that in years to come, these are going to be these are going to be the one that everyone wants. Yeah, because you need to remember that not everyone's going to be able to afford to buy Q Gardens. Yeah, because Kew Gardens, you know, in 20 years' time, that could, that could be a £1,000 each. Who knows? Who knows? You don't know. But one thing I do know, it's worth holding on to some of these, yeah? WWF, World Wildlife Fund, 2011, yeah? 3.4 million minted. But don't, I don't think you should be put off by that. I still think they're worth collecting. Well, they're definitely worth collecting.